The occupation and division of Egypt and Sudan by Britain has created one of the most interesting borders in the world. If you look at the border of Egypt and Sudan, you see a large area called the Halep Triangle with an area of 7,900 square miles, which both Egypt and Sudan have disputes over. But in front of this smaller and more curious triangle, there is also the Bir Tavil Triangle, which no one claims to own. Also, this desert area is bigger than London and New York, has been a problem for international legislators for more than 60 years, and also this area does not have a fixed population and is habitable only for nomadic people. The two triangular areas therefore reveal a conflict that dates back more than 100 years to the time of the Egyptian condominium, in which both Britain and Egypt had sovereignty and administration over what is now southern Sudan. So at that time, the Sudan was a part of Egypt, and on January 19, 1899, an agreement was made between Britain and Egypt regarding the administration of the Sudan, that it contained provisions giving Egypt control of the port of Suakin and the Red Sea, but an amendment was made on July 10, 1899, which gave Suakin to the Sudan in a set. But after these events, on November 4, 1902, the British drew a separate administrative boundary with the aim of reflecting the actual land used by the tribes of the region, which included Bir Tabil as a pasture used by the Babla tribe, located near Aswan, thus placing it under Egyptian administration from Cairo, which similarly placed the Triangle of Halab in the northeast under the British governor of the Sudan, as its inhabitants were culturally closer to Khartoum. The border dispute between Egypt and Sudan depends on conflicting claims regarding the demarcation of territorial boundaries, as Egypt claims that the main border established in 1899, known as the 22nd parallel, which includes the Triangle of Halab in the territory of Egypt and the area of Bir Tavil places in the territory of Sudan. However, the Sudan agrees to the administrative boundary established in 1902, which places Halab in the Sudan and Bir Tavil in Egypt. As a result of these conflicting claims, both governments claimed ownership of the Halab Triangle, while neither claimed ownership of the much smaller and less valuable area of Bir Tavil. Despite its strategic location, Bir Tavil lacks permanent settlements and access to the sea, which reduces its perceived value in the eyes of both nations. But efforts to resolve the conflict in the Halab Triangle continued, and in 1998, relations between Egypt and Sudan improved, and both countries expressed their willingness to cooperate in resolving the Halab Triangle dispute through increased cooperation between their security forces, they announced. However, one year later, Sudan accused Egypt of persecuting Sudanese citizens in the region. Egypt denied, and diplomatic talks resumed in March 1999, with the aim of improving relations between the two countries. During the visit of Omar al-Bashir, the president of Sudan, to Egypt in December 1999, a joint statement was issued in which he committed to resolve the Halab conflict, and in January 2000, Sudan withdrew its forces from this area and effectively controlled the border area, handed it over to Egypt, which has been occupying and managing this region ever since. But this issue was of no use and the disputes resumed again, and the dispute over Halab and Bir Tavil has remained unresolved for decades, because none of the countries is willing to waive Halab's claim. Furthermore, there is no legal basis in international law for Sudan or Egypt to simultaneously sovereignty over both territories. Notably, while no third country claims ownership of the neglected area, Bir Tavil is one of the few land areas in the world that is not recognized by any country 